Hey guys, how are you doing? Englishman here. I just cooked the, the rice, parboiled rice. One is a little bit al dente. Today I'm gonna do Ross il form. It's an Englishman cooking Morty's food. Now there's two problems there. It's a man and it's an Englishman cooking Morty's food. I did it before though and I got the advice from my cognata. Sadly she's passed away but um, she told me in the old days they used to cook with just corned beef because it was hard to find meat. Uh, with the rice was easy to find and corned beef, bully beef. So I'm going to do this. Uh, let me just switch this off. I'm going to get this going in a minute. I've got the oven on 180. I did the rice al dente, a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, firm. Now I'm going to mix it up. Let me show you what I'm doing. Anyway, this is a, a little bit... Maltese word, bladotch, a bit random, because I'm going to find how things are working out. Let me switch him. I hate these electric cookers, you know? That was the worst thing I ever did in my life, this. Okay, we'll put that over there. We're going to start cooking the... Uh... Are you like this position, guys? Because I was fed up with the Sony. Up and down, up and down. So I'm going to sit here a little bit. I chopped everything up, look. I've got some bacon, I've got some garlic, I've got some onions. I've got some herbs, parmigiana, some pepper, pulpa, and some eggs, corned beef. I'm going to start now frying a bit. I'll try and put the uh, GoPro down so you can see me frying. You might get a groin shot. <laughs> anyway, and then we mix it all up with the eggs and we just dump it in the casserole. That's about it, guys. Stick a bit of parmesan on the top. Bob's your uncle. Anyway, let's start. Let's put this like this a bit. I'm going to start a bit, a bit of oil. I'm going to use olive oil, but in the old days I don't think they had olive oil. Let's put you a bit closer because I think that's not exactly good there. Tell me how the shots are, guys. How about that? That's a bit better, eh? I'm going to get going. Typical English, man. You're all organized, eh, Steve? Yeah, yeah, all organized. Put the garlic and the onions in. Which it should be hot and it's not. But anyway, we'll ignore that a little bit, eh, guys? Hey, Mr. Bacon, you're gonna go in in a bit. Let's put him up high. You never know with these uh, electric, how hot they are or how hot they've got. Did I tell you guys, I hate the electric. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna cook this up a bit. Already it's getting hot. We're gonna sweat down the garlic. Come back in a bit. We've got a bit of skin. Oh, a bit of bacon. Get back with your mates. Anyway, let's sweat this down a bit, guys. There it is. Look. So really, we've got very very easy. Oven's ready. I've got some corned beef. I've got this uh, mince here from the butcher. It's pork and beef mixed together. The rice is ready, al dente, like you do the pasta, a little bit of the bite. That's what it means in Italian, if you didn't know. <laughs> Buongiorno, <laughs> al dente, at the bite. Some bacon, parmigiana, some pepper, and we've got some pulpa, some herbs. If you can find that uh, Maltese herbs, Quite nice, it's got a little bit of garlic in it and I might sprinkle a bit of garlic on it as well and um, some curry, it comes out nice and a couple of eggs. Anyway, we're cooking here, we're cooking guys on gas. So let's sweat the onions down. Can you see that? Let's turn it down a bit. Let's just hope it doesn't steam up. How's that? Oh yeah, it's perfect. Now my specialities for the English breakfast, which I'm gonna do. I've got two for the English breakfast coming up. One is a one minute, 50 seconds English breakfast, and one is a full English breakfast. Anyway, let's sweat this down, guys. Back soon. One important thing, guys. You must have a glass of red when you're cooking rice fawn, rice, baked rice.
Hey guys, the best thing in the world is the smell of fried onions, don't you think? I mean, I've got a bit of a memory, you know, when I used to be in London, those guys on the corner. I mean, it makes, it bottles you thinking where they're going to go for the toilet and wash their hands. But anyway, you buy a hot dog from them. But the beautiful smell in the Oxford Street, those of the, of the onions, I think that's what really sells it, because you know, they probably keep that cooking and hopefully they're going to sell that. But I think, where do you go for the toilet? Where do you wash your hands? Oh, jeez. Anyway, it's ready, guys. Let's sweat it down nicely. Let's put the mince in. I think we'll, I think we'll stick the bacon in first. Really, it doesn't matter. Before the uh, keyboard, before the keyboard warriors start, I've washed my hands. Everything is clean. Everything is sanitized. Because I had some people say, Steve, you touched the packet, and you didn't wash your hands after you touched the bacon. Listen, this is home cooking. This is an Englishman cooking. Russell Fawn, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back, back down here. So we'll we'll find the bacon off of it. I think it's any good there, guys. Let's put it a bit closer. The problem is, you know, the lens steaming up. It looks like it's blowing away. And if I put the extractor on, it makes a hell of a noise. So we need to eat now, guys. Ooh, what a smell. I might cut in and out of this just so you don't get bored. Can you smell that, guys? <sighs> Heaven, eh? The only problem about this dish, and I was thinking of doing it, it would, it would break all the traditions of the Maltese roster of one. It's some mushroom, because I love it. I love mushroom. You know, I put this in, I bought it yesterday, and I put it in the, in the freezer. It's bloody cold at the moment, guys. The temperature's gone down quite a lot. We get like 8 degrees at night. Ooh, it's still a bit frozen in the middle. <laughs> Don't you think? You know what I... You know what I think? Cooking should be fun. Have a bit of a laugh, have a few drinks. Anyway, let's get serious. I'm gonna put the herbs in now. I've got some, uh, I know you use anything you want, guys. Use any uh, herbs, but I love, I love these Italian. I love the Italian herbs. They've got a really nice taste in them. I'm going to put the pulp in. One tin is enough pulp. A cup of tomato. Some pepper. Cracked pepper. Cook that down a little bit with the tomatoes. You know what I love to do with the tomatoes? Just that acid, acid a little bit. 
a, a spoon of sugar. That's a massive difference. Okay, put it down low. Let it cook a little bit out. We're ready guys. We're gonna combine everything together now. Just gonna put the corned beef in. I'm gonna just chop the corned beef in because it's already cooked corned beef, so it shouldn't take much at all. I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna put the rice in. And then all we've got to do is mix the eggs in with it. So let's do that guys. The corned beef really just want to just chop it up a little bit. Perhaps I should have chopped it up but, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm just going to chop it up in the pan. It's easier. Save the washing up guys. <laughs> That's all I do. I chop it up in the pan. If you want to, you can chop it up on the chopping board, dirtier knife. Let's give it a good mix up. Do this off the flame, guys. You don't need that bubbling away like crazy. So the corned beef is all chopped up now. Let's give it a good mix up. It's all mixed up, look, guys. We're going to dump the rice in now. That's a technical word used in most of the chefs here. We're going to dump in this rice. So mix everything all up together now. You getting that, guys? Are you getting it? I can't put you any closer because you're going to get hot and it's going to cut off again because GoPros don't like the heat. Anyway, let's mix everything all up. Some people put a little bit of conserver in with a concentrated tomato. In fact, I forgot it. I'm gonna put it in now. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of conserver in. Tomato paste. It gives it a bit of colour, eh? You've got to try and get this consistency, guys. Really thick. Rice has got to be drained completely. Leave it for a few minutes. Try and cook it, the rice, a little bit before. I'm going to crack in three eggs now. Ready guys, <laughs> and my glass is empty, I've oh, got a little bit left. Cheers everybody, cheers. You know this is the first time I've ever bought any wine from Lidl. Anyway, what we're gonna do, <coughs> and it's not too bad. Let's put everything in here. Sold yourself. That's perfect. 
This can be like frozen as well, guys. What's really good about it? If you don't want to eat it, if you don't want to eat it there and then today, let's put you up a bit. What do you think about this format? Is it better or worse? Tell me. Let's get a fork. I'm just gonna have fun. Let's let's spread it out a bit. There we are. Anyway, let's put you like this. I'm gonna put some bar parmesan over the top. Put you over here. Straight in the oven, guys. Mark, gas mark, uh, there it is, look, ready. Gas mark 180. How easy is that? <laughs> the only hard part, washing the dishes. <laughs> anyway, let's leave it in about 40 minutes until everything's absorbed and it's bubbling away nicely and things like that. And we'll come back to you, we'll give it a taste. You know what Cognata says she used to do? Obviously she had a lot of kids then. She used to do rice or fawn, but in the middle of the rice or fawn, she used to put like a, a fillet of pork or beef inside it. And she said what she used to do, like uh, she give the dad, uh, I never met him this way, he died before I, uh, I came on the scene. We give the dad a, a piece of meat with some bread and a, a, dump, a dollop of rice and the kids the rice and uh, that was the old-fashioned way with corned beef you know because right, right, they were they were poor people in the old days and they didn't have a lot of meat and things like that so let's see how this comes out 40 minutes we're gonna come back it was simple hey eh, guys I hope you enjoyed it we're, we're back cooking again Englishman trying to cook English <laughs> Englishman trying to cook Morty's food it's late, guys, and I've had a, I've had a couple of glasses. <laughs> Isn't it fun when you can cook, you have a couple of glasses, and then what the hell, just put what you want in it. Back 40 minutes, guys, I'm going to give you a taste test. It's, I'll get the table ready, and we're going to have a taste, see what it's like. But I've done it many times. Um, I haven't done it any different. The only other way, don't put any corned beef in, put any mince. You can do it with the mince, you can do it with the pork, we can do it with beef. Uh, corned beef gives it that little bit of a extra taste. Or you can do it completely with corned beef. Some people do it. You know, like a lot of people, when I did the cooking last time, you know where I had to go? It's been about a year now since I've been, more than a year, I think, when I used to do like uh, cooking, remember? And I got this flashing. I hope it's not flashing now with the GoPro, but somebody, somebody uh, told me online how to adjust it a little bit so you don't get that flashing. So let's hopefully it comes out and we'll do some more cooking. Morty's cooking is really easy and it's a, it's not a delicate sort of cooking. It's like a more of a stodgy sort of cooking. It's like a pasta il forn or ross il forn or steak or zimel or these sort of, or babouche and things like this, like snails and things like that. So we're gonna try all those things. I hope it comes out, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know, 40 minutes. We're coming back, guys. Okay, guys, it's ready. The smell is fantastic. Let's get it out. Wow, look at this, guys. It's ready. Between 30 and 40 minutes, something like that. Until it becomes like crusty, but everything was cooked really inside it. So let's put you up a little bit. Let's get it out. About 180, 200, something like that. Everything is cooked. It's got some extra corned beef in it there. With uh, pork and beef mix. Oh, look guys. Let's try it. Wow, you can really smell the herbs and the bacon. And it's scorching hot. Wow, it tastes really good. Very easy, guys. Very easy mixture together. Just bung it in the oven. Englishman cooking Morty's food. 
Can you believe it? Hope you follow me on the other channel as well, Adventure on Englishman and Malta. This is Englishman Cooking. Bye guys, take care. Hope you enjoy the videos. Many more coming up to you.